soon. Hi guys, hello, hello. We're interviewing Vanessa from Paris today. So I'm gonna wait for her to hop on. How are you doing? I'm great, thank great. you. Great, great, great. <laughs> so before we started, you started sharing an amazing story. Two amazing stories, so let's start with that. <laughs> And then we'll do the opposite of what we usually do, which is discovering you and then discovering why you did this work and then discovering all the outcomes. We're going to do the opposite. First the outcome, <laughs> then discovering you, then okay. realizing why you did this work. Okay, let's go. Okay, what were you telling so, me? I was telling you that uh, earlier today, uh, I had an audition uh, with a, a casting director that I hadn't seen in a while. And we were you know, talking, and I was uh, doing my, my slate, and she just stopped, and she was like, there's something new about you. Something has changed. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> and that was nice. But she was like, I don't know, you're more like, and I think what she meant was grounded. Yeah. Because she was like, you're more, there's something. And I was like, oh, more you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's probably. Actually not, it's not actually something new. It's actually something you. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. And then what's the other story that you were telling me? Oh, <laughs> the other story is that um, I think it was halfway uh, through my reset. I had different audition and um, I had an audition uh, for a video game. Mm -hmm. And um, at first they reached out to me and uh, I was not at all the character mm -hmm. they were looking for. Uh, they were looking for someone like really tall. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know how you say that in English. I'm at 80, so I don't know how, how, yeah. how tall oh, this is in English. Tall. That's like, like six foot. And I'm, I'm at 62. So yeah. Like so five that's three like, or like something five, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like five three or something. Um, and so they were like, oh, okay, well. And then they wanted to meet me. So I went there and then they just changed the character actually. Yes. Put me to audition first, and and when they saw my audition, they asked me in again, and they were like, "Okay." And it's funny because they were we were uh, recording and um, during the the audition, and, and the sound guy he forgot to record because he was like, yeah. "Oh, I'm sorry, I was just so into what you oh were doing." Oh my god, I love that. That I've never heard. I've heard and it was... stories when people are reset, but that I have to write this down somewhere. Oh, that's so. Cool. That was that was really nice. I mean, we were. Yeah. It was. Um, it was an, a very emotional scene, yeah. and uh, I was. I mean, ever since I've reset, I don't need to think. I don't need to say, "Oh, okay, I need to." It's just there. I know it's there. Yeah. And so, and I'm, and I'm working every day anyway, mm -hmm. uh, on my instrument. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just easy to access, uh, Wonderful. you know, yes. And it's fun. That's yeah. the most yes. incredible part. It's yeah. fun. It's Back fun. There's no more fun. pain, right? It's no. like acting no, no, is no, no, no longer no. a torture. It's actually fun again, <laughs> well, which is why you joined acting it, in the first place. Exactly. Well, yeah. it's never been... A torture for me. I love, I love acting. It's just that the whole thing around acting mm -hmm. could sometimes be heavy. Yeah. And um, and that and during the same uh, audition, they were one, two, three, four, four in the room, mm -hmm. and they actually asked me a different thing, and I knew I could go just bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Like it was. <laughs> Just You're with so bending. much energy, so yeah. much. Yes, and a, and, and, and they said note. you are so free. That's what they yeah. told me. You are so ah. free, and ah. and my reset was not even done. Not yet, even so. done. Yeah, yeah. And not I think that's done. a great thing for people to hear because oftentimes people uh, start getting to know us and they think, but if I'm free and instinctive, but what if that's not what they want? And what I keep telling people <laughs> is you don't actually know what your freedom and instinct is yet. It's not, freedom and instinct doesn't mean, oh, if I'm angry, I'm stuck in anger. And if they want sadness, I can't go to sadness because I'm angry. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Free and instinctive means you're open. You're open and you're very bendy and directable in any way you want because you're just in your energy. You're not outside of your body. 
you're actually in there you're present and when you're present you can go anywhere that's amazing yeah, so and yeah go ahead i didn't want to interrupt you no 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 i was just going to say that yes we don't know what they're looking for anyway mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh and uh the thing that i've noticed during this whole reset journey is that first well i booked more callbacks as well yeah. uh but it's not even about that actually no, not not, not even about anymore. that it's just that yeah. it's fun it's yeah. fun and i know that i'm doing my my job i show up like yeah. a pro and uh yeah. and i know that i'll get another audition if i don't yeah. get the part i'll exactly. have another audition exactly anyway and that's exactly that's the point so and when you're not the part just fun. like you said in the beginning if you're amazing they will rewrite it for you so they will like we <laughs> another actress from Paris had the craziest graphic story i don't know if you've heard it already that she was um auditioning for a role in an american movie like a consistent role and she was on the type but she was the favorite actress for the director mm -hmm. and um then they said oh sorry we'll call you back for another project because you were really above everyone else but just not the type she was like okay that's fine and then they called her back um a couple days after and said well there's the lead role and we can't walk away from you we're going to give you the lead role it's for a man but we're going to rewrite it for you so <laughs> it's just you know it's just like there's no well, limits to what you can to what you can book when you're really yourself it's people want to work with you basically so they'll do what they can to work with you and that's really important yeah how yeah. was your experience um before how did you become an actress how was how was that what's your acting education etc okay so i've been acting for the professionally i mean for the past eight or um, almost 10 years now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. almost 10 years uh i went to well uh training here in in paris i've worked with the uh, uh different um coach coaches mm -hmm. american coaches mm -hmm. uh and um uh, and i've started well you know i i work i do commercials i do uh, tv shows plays um yeah. voice work mm -hmm. it's very so uh diverse Yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's fun so that that yeah. that's nice um and actually i used to be a tv host here in mm -hmm. in in paris france many years ago uh but i've always wanted to act i just didn't have the guts to do it or i mm -hmm. just didn't want to yeah you know it's like like everyone else i had my own thing to yeah. <laughs> to deal with and i was just yeah. not uh maybe not brave enough to uh to just go for it but at some point i just mm -hmm. had to yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, i couldn't i couldn't do anything else so mm -hmm. i had to great great and so why did you decide to reset after 10 years of acting why did you decide that you needed this it's it's like i needed to i was about to say go back <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. actually what happened yeah. go yeah. back to to have the same excitement and um and joy and uh uh and fun that i had when i was a kid when yeah. i was playing uh, being playing. Uh, the witch or yeah. you know playful Play. and that's what yeah. i wanted to to go back to because mm -hmm. um after a few years i think i was free at first but then after a few years i don't know if it was the everything that's around acting that i did not know how to process or whatever that started to lay on top of my uh yeah of my instinct and i would yeah. uh you know i wouldn't follow my impulse mm -hmm. and that's something that that was not good at all i could feel it yeah and i and i just didn't want to stop my impulse anymore mm -hmm. i just wanted to go back to who i really was to mm -hmm. be able to you know have my whole spectrum of uh, yeah of emotions yeah. and of uh, of character because when i when i when i watch movies and when i'm deeply moved by actors or characters yeah. because they are embracing 
you know, everything. And I don't yeah. feel like, oh, I'm watching a character. I'm watching no. someone. And that's I can relate. Meaning. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's, that's what I want. So how does that welcome back to your authenticity feel? How, how differently does it feel than just before doing this? I just show up. Yeah. <laughs> I show up every day. Mm -hmm. And it's, I feel light. Mm. It's fun. And it's mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't have to think. Mm -hmm. it's not I heavy. don't have to. It's not heavy. And uh, you. it's exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really nice. Yeah. And something that I've learned with the with the journey is whatever the feeling that I'm feeling mm -hmm. just go towards it you know because before that I could like everybody else feel angry sad or whatever mm -hmm. and you if would repress it. Is this it's just that if these feelings came to me during an audition or right before an audition I would say okay just get this and put it into what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I was not being, oh, I was okay with my character feeling that, but not with me mm -hmm. going through those emotions. Yeah. And so there was something mm -hmm. that was conflicted, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it can't work like that. Mm -hmm. I need to be, well, to me, I need to be okay with whatever I'm mm -hmm. feeling and yeah. uh, embrace yeah. it and yeah. put it in my work. Yeah. So I think that's yeah. main. That's the to me the most important thing is that, yeah. Just it's not like oh no, I can do this. I'm yeah. I'm not yeah. trying it's not to. About, yeah, it's not about getting yourself to be confident. It's just about being there, and that's what that casting director was telling you today. I think that like something changed. Like you're authentic. You you people can feel you more because you're actually hmm. connected to what's happening in the moment. And when you're wishing the moment was different, when you're wishing to feel something different, you're disconnecting from your authenticity. You're somewhere else. You're faking, you're pushing, mm -hmm. you're people pleasing. You're not connected to you. So no one can connect to you. You're not there. Right? That's, mm. that's just the, the, essential. The, the, the people pleasing part is interesting because yeah. <laughs> let me tell you, you who yeah. are watching us tonight. <laughs> when, you, <laughs> yeah. when, you, when you do your reset, <laughs> there are boundaries that you just you yeah. don't have them anymore. And mm -hmm. so you don't care. And sometimes <laughs> during my, uh, my reset, I was like, I don't know. It's like I would just, you know, speak up every yeah. time. Yeah. Nothing repressed. And so if yeah. something... If I don't like something, I just, and sometimes like, it's like I could see me just talking. I was like, oh, yeah, good for you. Good. More power to you. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Yeah. It's like, I mean, actually, if you don't honor whatever's going on there in the moment, you're, you're really just denying the reality. You're denying the truth. The truth is, is not something you choose. It's not something that you control and that you falsify. It's just what's there. And being in that truth takes work, yeah, to, to go back to that because we haven't been trained to be in our truth. We've been trained to please, to look good, to be loved, to be safe, to be, yeah, to be like other wants, other people want us to be, yeah. And Definitely. try to be someone else. To yeah. Just like there's something wrong with us. But yeah. Definitely. I'm not good enough. So I'm going to try and be more like others. Definitely. And hide it. <laughs> mm -hmm. and hide the fact that I don't feel good enough. Yeah. Why? Yeah. So that's yeah. Uh, that's something that was really uh, surprising, actually, to yeah. experience, because it's something to know it intellectually. Yeah. But, but to then when you experience it, it, it's a whole different thing. It's different. different. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's very, very, very different. different. Very different. Well, I'm, I'm so glad you gave yourself the, the space and time to experience it so that you could you know, be welcomed back into your own truth and wisdom and freedom. It's beautiful to see you radiate. And it's so nice to hear your stories of, yeah, casting sees you. You're not the part. That's okay. We'll change the part for you. You know, there's something about That's you. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Because there's something That's about right. all of us when we're really in our bodies. 
in our instruments as artists and as human beings too. There's something about each and every one of us that is a gift, right? To be seen and mm -hmm. when you can when you can embody your true self, it's pretty amazing for everyone and for you too. Yeah. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, thank, thank you. For sharing you. Your story. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, okay, you guys. So if this resonates for you, let us know in the comments, in the link in the bio, you can find um, the wait list. You can find some free trainings, how to move from uh, trying to be a good actor to actually being a great actor. You can start with that if this work resonates with you, or you can get in touch with us and ask for more information. And we'll gladly share that with you. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon.